welcome to Fork and Photo. My name is Jade and today we will be making a chicken and chilies quiche. Yes. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Let's get started. I can't even wait. I can't wait. Let's cook. Get you a non-stick skillet and about one to two tablespoons of salted butter. Because if you've been here before, you know I don't believe in unsalted butter. No, no, no. When your butter is melted, add in one full shallot that has been diced small and saute until translucent and aromatic. While your shallots are sweating and sauteing down, add about one teaspoon of olive oil. That just assists with the right amount of fat content I like personally. Now you'll add in two to three cloves of minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, jarred garlic, just garlic, okay? Watch your heat and make sure that it does not burn. Then add in half of a can of Rotel tomatoes with diced chilies. You can leave some of the liquid in there, that's fine. Now I'm adding one full can of diced chilies. I mean, it's a chicken and chilies quiche. What you thought? Saute all of your veggies until they are well combined and the flavors have just exploded and it looks like that. Now it's time to do my favorite part of any dish and that season. Start out with some complete or all purpose seasoning. Then use some ground white pepper followed by some chicken or poultry seasoning. And I used a good amount of this. Make sure it doesn't have too much salt content because you don't want your dish to be salty. Then a good sprinkle of coriander and that is ground coriander. Stir to combine and fold in all the seasonings. And now it's time to add your chicken. I am adding one cup of shredded rotisserie chicken that I bought from the store. You can cook your own chicken or buy a rotisserie chicken and shred it up however you want to do it. Once all of your chicken has been added into the pan with the green chilies and the tomatoes, begin to fold that all together until it is well combined. Don't stir. You don't want to break up your chicken too much. Just gently fold. Let this cook for about two to three minutes until your chicken and veggies look like this. They have married and it is so good. You can eat this straight out of the pan, but don't do it. Sit it to the side and let it cool. While your chicken mixture is cooling, let's make the egg mixture for this quiche. Add in six eggs and whisk them together until you see no more egg yolks or whites separated, just a pale yellow mixture. And I didn't show y'all how to crack an egg. You should know how to do that by yourself. Once you're done whisking the eggs, add in one cup of heavy whipping cream. And you will always see me scrape the measuring spoon or the cup when it comes to heavy whipping cream because baby, it's not cheap. And I want every little drop, every last one. It's mine. Now whisk together the heavy whipping cream and the eggs until they are well combined and about an off white color. Now on to the seasoning step. Get some kosher salt, add a pinch of kosher salt, followed with some white ground pepper, jalapeno powder, and chili powder. Also add in just a touch of freshly ground black pepper. I forgot, but you need to do that. And then mix well. Now it is time to move on to the crust. This is a store-bought deep dish Pillsbury crust that I buttered all the way around. Now, don't be like me and forget to poke holes in it like this. Poke the holes in the crust or you have to go back like I did. After your pie crust is completely prepped, holes and butter, add in the first layer, which is cheese. First, add your layer of Mexican crumbling cheese, also known as queso fresco, and then another layer of cheese, but this time using a Mexican four cheese blend. Now it is time to add in your chicken mixture. Make sure that it is cool and not too warm. Otherwise, it will begin to cook your crust and you don't want that because then you'll have a soggy bottom. <laughs> if all of your chicken mixture does not fit into your quiche, that's fine. Just make sure not to overload it. You know, you can just eat it out of the bowl like I told you earlier. Now that your chicken is in the pie crust, slowly pour in your egg mixture. Be sure not to overflow it. I also like to use a toothpick or a cake tester just to move around the egg and the chicken in the pie crust to make sure that it's even and that there are no empty holes or air bubbles. Once you're done evening out your quiche, 
top it with your Mexican four cheese blend and a little bit more of that queso fresco. And I feel it's only right to season the top as well. Get a little bit of Italian seasoning and sprinkle that on top or herbs de Provence, whatever you call it. Some fresh cracked black pepper and a little bit of paprika because that's how we do it in the South. Bake on 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown and delicious like this. Ooh, get you some melted butter and a pastry brush and go all around the crust. And baby, you are done. Listen, this recipe is so good. It's one of my top favorites now. I hope that you enjoy it. If you make it, please let me know. I'll be so honored. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Fork and Photo. Until next time, y'all, eat good.